Larry J, Open Time Magazine. Andre Gautier. From TV. TV J. J. Jamaica. Yes. Television Jamaica. All right. That is. <laughs> yes. So, um, Andre, so tell me something about you. What made you come into the filming business? Um, how, how you start? What, for example, what you say when you leave school, uh, was you inspired to be a cameraman, a major cameraman, them days or what? All right. No, at first, no. Mm. Me did inspire for me. Like when we smaller grow up, I always be one of them. What you call it? Them JPS man that we climb the post and we used to love electricity. Oh so, oh, so you come from a power background? Right. So right. them something that we used to love. Yes. What up and boy now we used to have a Lindsay and then yeah. my grandfather did a Lindsay and then my friend up. Come back in a Spanish town. Because yeah. me originally born in a Spanish town. Okay. Then go a Lindsay and go live with my grandfather. Yes. And then grow up. Grandfather died when I about about seventeen or so. Seen. So we back in Spanish town after mm. I'm dead. So after that, me there and then my mother introduced me to this place where you call Children First. Okay, yes. Children First is on Mount Street. Yeah. You know? So them do different skill work. So mm. girls would have got them with them hairdressing yeah. and them other things. And somewhere along the line me end up in a photograph class. Oh so so how was you then when you when you when you go that that school? That Alright. Um I end up in the photograph class. It was good. Because yeah. actually, I go there and me do my job. It's just basically if you keep me from yes. high clean. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. I basically done school and everything. Yes. So basically, if you keep me from high clean, she tell me about it. And I go around there and I start it. I start photographing. I'm officially a photographer. You know? By That's how I started out. By okay, art. yes, yes. So I learn the photographer. Mm. Um, during, um, finish the course. Mm. And then leave school again. I don't know what else to do. Then the same person who used to teach me, yeah. he used to have a student. Okay. His name is Everton Tarp. Everton and Everton Tarp. And what was the name of that studio? Um Ever the Video Production. Ever and, that, and that's in town Jamaica that's Kingston in, or Yeah man, in that no, that's in Spanish town. Okay, yeah. Um Red Pan, you call the place Red Pan or, or Fraser Skenton. Yeah. Asker Drive, I think it was for Asker Drive then. Okay. So is that is that is that is that company still going, is still existing today? It's still going. I'm not sure if it's still going under the same name ever yeah. already. I think it's still going. Well, the studio itself yeah, yeah. is out. Okay, right, right. But right. the person himself, he's still doing things. Still, okay, so he's, he's still um, active within. Exactly. Exactly. it. So yeah. um, from there, so so basically when we leave school, yeah, again, we finish photo mm -hmm. and everything. Yes. He did have a, a studio where he do video and photo. Okay. So we start go off with him, you know. I go to some little place and we start going for them. So within that time, we start to learn the video. Oh, and then realize, yo, the video more nicer yeah, than the photo yeah, still. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so we start out in the video. Because we did have the most of the video okay, okay. in terms of um, weddings. Also events and occasions and events stuff. Events yes, occasions. yes, yes, yes. And then from there, we start to learn my editing. Yes, oh. So some of the editing, what kind of software program do you use for editing? All right, back then. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Back then, back, back then. Back then, we used to use this software called Pinnacle. Okay. Pinnacle 8. Mm. And then we upgraded one at a time to um, Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay. It was... Did you say Adobe? Adobe, Adobe, Adobe Premiere. Premier, Premium Pro. Okay, okay. yes, yes. Um, it was, I think it was Adobe Premiere 3. Mm. Now them they are about 10. So it well advanced. Yeah, they, they, so yeah, them yeah. well advanced. But yeah. um because me did have a lick I me can catch up. Yes, yeah. Because him what day me, the other day me go me go France the other day and is mm. me use Adobe Premiere eight. Okay, okay. To do some lick so is it in Paris in Paris and Yeah, Paris. So how do you, how do you find it? You like it nice or that's a Yeah man, Paris nice. Okay. Cool is it is it the the atmosphere and the background and mm. everything does feel different from mm. there. <laughs> regular, regular Jamaica. So, um, sorry. So, 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 from from you start pick up the camera. Um, how did you get to the stage you is at now, for example? You, you know. All right. The same.
company mm. ever heard of the production. Yeah. Um, from us, their things was kind of breaking down. You know, you know the business. Oh, yes, oh, yeah, oh, it's oh. a flutter rate. So, him himself, that uh, the same ever heard. Ever, yeah. He get a work at TVJ. Then. Oh, okay, okay, so yeah. me was like him second. Mm. So of course him did there and he might do him thing and there was a a vacant for a photographer. Um, for, um, but then it was it was Janin. Mm. What was it? Jamaica J News Network. Okay, right. It was Janin. It's it, it, it's a part of. It's it, J Jamaica News Network is a part of RJR. Yeah. As if you realize, RJR is is a group. Right. Okay. Right. So we start off at there was a vacant for Jamaica News Network. Yes. You know and him tell me about it and me go in and bring him stuff and then but it start doing a little thing there and mm. you know start work and work my way in and then it's just a matter of time before me start because once you start working with Jenin, Jenin is under the banner yes so it's just a matter of time before you start cross over to TVJ right so once you're in once you're in you, the you can go across court. the board yes yes you yes you can yes, go yes. across the board yeah. and then I end up across the board I remember my first assignment over there was with sports okay sports and then you know yeah, so you cover both by any chance Bo yes man yes man tell me something about, tell, tell me something about <laughs> you know, make me hear something little, yeah make me hear something about bolt as well look well bolt is one of them boy that call it though like a, a drama man like a him, 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 him just active just yeah. fun man you know we got him training yeah cool yeah cover him training you know interviews and everything He's just a nice good guy who mm. just have be himself. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so, when, when you when you realize it, so you have to um, cover bolts. It's a big thing. Bolts is a big thing. How did you feel when you know say you was what? actually picked? <laughs> but you know, funny enough, the excitement and the excitement mm. where outside people would feel. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily feel that. Bolt yeah. a man when me walk up to and we talk and we talk yeah. and me go at different different events. Me never feel a rush of excitement there for yeah, say boy. Yeah. Yo, me will cover bolt, you know. Oh, well I'll tell you what, in England I saw me would have <laughs> <laughs> me feel, That's, hey. I mean me never feel a rush of excitement there because yeah, yeah. I'm covering sports. That's right. And yeah. every other time you meet him. Yeah. yeah. And you meet him and you get bigger and bigger and you still have meet him. So the rush of coming, I mean, you feel good in you know, and you yeah. feel honored for no say boy. Yeah. The world fastest man, you know. I mean I'm a lot of picture with bolt. So, you know? <laughs> so, so, so you was you, so you was covering world before the 2012 Olympic and all this. Yes, man, long before that world training coming. Cause me, me start me start TV from my officially start 2008. 2008. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from then till now, it's actually 10 years. So anything within that. Yeah, yeah. So me spend about a year. Mm. Or a little a journey in itself. Okay, yeah. And the, the circle of journey in, and then cross over the sports and start the sports. So anything within that I used to cover. All of them big sports. Yeah. So anything for those. So sports. the majority of things what people watch on TV regarding to sports, it come through for your lens. Most of them. I am the main person for sports. And well oh, jeez. You know, it's yeah, like you, 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 yeah. you have other cameraman who is, you know, yeah. correspondent yeah. and yes. but I work directly. Yes. In the sports. So all of the major all of the major sports events that you guys might watch. Yeah, yeah. Are most of the major sports events that you guys might watch on TV. Yes. Come through my lens. Wow, all of the greatness. You know. Um the other day with um Reggae Girls in France. Oh that's where you was there for the I was reggae. in France with them. All of those greatness wow, come yes, through yeah. my lens. Well it's a good thing, you know, it's a nice <laughs> thing that up in time actually meet the me and man, you know. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's, it's yes, like, man. I, I, I cover. I, 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 there's a lot of things I cover, cover across the board. Because I, I went to um, Australia already. went to Argentina. I went to um, Colombia. Wow, so yeah. You know, so, I, I've, I've, I've yeah. been there. Yeah, yeah. Been right across the board. So all of the major sports people mm. in Jamaica that they can think of, I've covered them. So, so um, People come from overseas. Mm. So, so in relation to the cameraman, you, you up there? He's definitely up there. Well, um, what do I call him now? Sam Hallin. Hmm. He always tell me that, hey, you and another person that is there, one of the best in the world. Yeah. So someone, someone saw something but in I, you. Someone, I, so someone yes. saw something in you. Yes, yes. And, but you know they, me, yeah. me always humble. Me not pat myself, I'm sure. Yes, yeah, yeah, but I always go out and, and, and do my 
best. That's but right. I think I'm, I, I am amongst the best as I yeah. take pride in my work. That's right. If, you know, me as a person like this. You have an eye for detail. I have an eye for details mm. and creativity. Mm. Yes. Because video is art, right. photograph is art. Right, right, right. This is the creative. Because when I take something and show you, I must say, wow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Good. That's, that's right. Good. Nice, yeah. Yes, Mr. Andre Goffrey. So, um, do you know when you're actually your first day at TVJ, how do you actually feel? Oh, until it was excited, excited till it's like everything stopped. Because mm -hmm. TVJ was one of the major places yes. that I ever wanted to work with. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it, it, it's a top television mm -hmm. media in Jamaica. Who would want to work with the best? Yeah, like, you, you, that, that's in your field. You, that yeah. Camp. And I feel like anything I do, mm. I want to be my best. Yes, yes, yes. So I want to work with the best. Yes. You yes. know, and show off my best skills. Mm. So, so know? we've been we've been TG, TVJ. How much employees do they have in that organization? Do you know? Ah, uh, employees they have like overall, can be about. 600. 600. And yeah, and is, is, is all of them based in Jamaica or they all scattered around the world? Um, most of them would be based in Jamaica. Mm. Of course, you'd have a few people outside for yeah, yeah. whatever other reason they are. Yeah. But within the company, um, in the company, directly have... Because remember, say, like, it's a group and now you have um, Cleaner. Which is oh, under the company. So, it's, so it's, okay, so TBJ is the umbrella. It's the umbrella. And then you have the then branches you have all on. Like branches, it's all so Gleena, RJR. Gleena, JNN, you know. Um, yeah, you have, a, you have a, a, a good amount of, of brand that, that, that underneath. Yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 so it's a whole of employees. A lot of employees. Yeah. The RJR is responsible for a lot of employment. So, so you know, like how all the internet is going now, um, how do you think that would affect the film, filming side kind of thing? Or don't you think it would have an impact on the filming side? It will have an impact mm. at some point. Yeah, yeah. Because everybody has phone now. Yeah, and, and they, they want to, they want to instant now, innit? Yeah. And everybody want instant up. Yeah. Um, but if you want something professionally done, you're right. Yeah, you yeah, yeah there's no question about those. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. gotta come back to the source. Yeah. You know what I mean? And in this time, we have um, social media, Facebook, and all of this thing. Because the print everything gone up, you know? Yeah. So it kind of balance. And of course, sometimes I'm sure some photographer or mm. some it affects somewhere it's along a, the line yeah, in terms yeah. of the, the, the downside of maybe mother call of your job. Yeah, yes. But hey, me have a phone, my phone can do it, man. Even call it. Mm -hmm. you know That's why I mean? so you can, you can. Then like them look a photographer who used to take passport picture and mm -hmm. something. Hey, my phone can take it, man. I need it. So that's yeah. a man out of job. Wow, so you're right. That's, that's, that's technology, you know. But yeah, technology. You, you just got to learn how to work with this technology, you know. Yeah, you just you have know? to find another way out because yeah. as long as you do your work properly, yeah, yeah. there will be demand for you. Yes, look, your road get high on the other side. Mm. At some point in time, there will be somewhere where they need professional. That's right. To, to the finishing touch. To the fi finishing touch. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. So. So, um, Andre, um, so what advice would you have for the kids, the young guys, the grassroots level, if they want to kind of be inspired to get into filming and camera and into the editing, into the TV? What would you kind of advise them? How would you actually tell them which is the best way how to do it and stuff, you know? I mean, just know what you want. Mm. That's the first thing. Yeah. You want to do photo, know what you want and that you want. So focus on what you want. And after you focus on what you want, mm. then... Whatever you do, yes. just make sure you do it to your best. Because your times. last work is the best work. That's right. You're only good as your last job. You're, you're only last job. Because mm. you might can just do a last job and then, yeah. you know, yeah. it, it can be good or bad for you. Mm. So whatever you're going to do, just do it to your best. Yeah. And always be creative yeah. with it. So, so what kind of school would you advise him to attend to, to go into filming? Or is there a school or college or yeah, is man, some kind of institution have, um, that could go and learn this skill? You have, you have, you have um, CPTC. Mm. And, in, who, in, and who is that Kingston. based in Kingston? In Kingston, CBD is in Kingston. That, yeah. That's the major productions and, and, and other film stuff and other things in media. Yeah. There are other places in Jamaica that, that does that too. Okay, so, so that would that, so that be, that be the best way. So, for example, someone from overseas now, mm -hmm. how would you advise them if they want to say, hey, watch, I mean, want to get fan J TV, you know? <laughs> 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 um, of course, there is means and ways to get anywhere you want to go yeah. in the world. Yeah, yeah. 
so you want to go and smile Jamaica. Mm. Of course, they have their their their, their, their slot. Yeah. Um, whatever you is about, you mm. know. Of course, they have an email address where yeah, you can. can write to them and say, hey, I'm so and so, and I want to so and so. And if they find it interested, yeah. they will call you for interview and, and so, man. Okay, good, good. Mm. So um, yeah, because I remember when we first met, we first met him. Um, Few weeks ago at the quarter final SCD SDC. SDC SDC apologies SDC. from <laughs> yes. time. Um, yeah and that was a fantastic cricket match yeah because you know, um, yeah. you know so, so when I come on to cricket and those type of stuff mm. I, I may be the chosen one to, yeah. to shoot cricket yeah yeah because this this guy called um, Sam Halley okay yeah, him, 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 since I come over in sports yeah guys just like before I come in sports I think I was like I did on top of myself. Wow, yeah. Yo, I yeah, go yeah. hard because I dominate mm. everything when I come out. The wedding, funeral, all the functions. Yeah, all I it, think yeah. I've dominated that and I've done my best. Yes. Now, when I move over mm. to, 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 to sports, yes. I realize it's a different college I'm in. Well, it's a different ball game. Different ball game. Everything has changed. Now, we um, have this big man, mm. Sam Hallin. Uh, Sam Hallin. Yeah, we have always called Sam Hallin. Sam Hallin was a man. Miserably know what you want. That's right, yes. So that's the guy who actually teach me. Yeah, he's pretending to know what you want, yes. And because of him, I'm become this person that I ah, so, 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 so I give respect to some Yeah, yeah like always, that. always. <laughs> so um so um this Sunday now. Let's speak about this Sunday because it's a big final finale. Yeah, huh? this Sunday, Naranda um backside, Naranda Sports Club. Yeah. In St. Anne's Runaway Bay. It's a big final. Mm. Guys it's like when we have um T20 Savannah Park, yeah, you know, yeah. the Tallowers and yes, 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 yes. something like that. And you know the good thing about it is um, you have a lot of good grassroots cricketers. Yeah. And they're the ones to watch out for for the future. Yeah, a lot of, a, yeah. Um, even the same SDC cricket, mm. a lot of national come from it. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of time they're there playing, you know, you have scouts who come and look. That's right, yes. That's and the place, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the Jamaica big team. Yeah. Where yeah them get big from it so, mm. so um, it's a good thing for, mm. for so so what radio station would be broadcasting it um huh? what radio station would be um rfm normally broadcast it mm. i'm not sure if it's 92 from our jerry's broadcast it yeah i'm not sure it's going that side but i know we tvj so you're gonna be the, you're not gonna be right next to you though you're gonna yeah. be up there on the, on the trifle up and gonna be right that's all right that's up in time right next to tvj mr andre yes man i'll be there covering it yeah, As yeah. I love SDZ cricket, yeah. and the thing about my job is my job carry up all over Jamaica. And you know, I don't think there's nowhere in Jamaica that I don't know. Uh, and it's something you enjoy, you know. It's, it's I, something I, you, I love I, to go. And that's the hardest. It's, that's one of the hardest things in life, you know, to find a career that you actually enjoy, that you wake up to, and you. Like I tell people all the time that not everyone can say, "Hey, I love my job." <laughs> I can say that. Nah, I love my job. Nah, that's good. You know, I, I love the creativity. Yeah, yeah. I love to go out. I love to. I, I like to make people smile and make people yeah, happy. Yeah. So, therefore, when I go out, I put everything in my work. Mm. For when you're watching it, you can relax and say, cool. Yeah. I like that shutter. I like that. And you're enjoying what you're yeah, watching, yeah, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, that's because so, as, so. as a cameraman, you need to have an eye for details. Yes. So, so we'll do someone else will miss something. You snatch that. You, you can you, see. Yeah, you can read what is going to happen. You can read what is As a cameraman, you have to have an eye for details. Yeah. You have to have an eye. In other words, you have to know what a camera can do or what it can do. Yeah. You, you, the camera lens work like your eyes. Yeah, that's right. So see. basically, once I go on a spot, mm. we just chick, 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 start pick pictures of my eyes. All right. So you're predicting, yes, you're, you're predicting, you're predicting things right. already. Yeah. It's just like you come here yes. and you say, right, that's how I go using Android. Same that's way. how I go. You Same have to have an yes. eye. Yes. Yeah. You, have to, you have to be a head at the gear. Yeah. You can don't look like a no-no. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. The time. You, have you have to be always a head at the gear. And I've been in this thing so long, mm -hmm. I think I am... I believe so. <laughs> of my game. I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, but... So. Well, Andre, watch out. This is Larry G. Up in time. Up in time. Up in time. Up in time, I guess. <laughs> and TVJ, Andrea. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, man. Respect, man. Yeah, man. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.